Vena puncture is a medical procedure in which the patient vein is punctured for reasons such as diagnostics, delivery of therapeutic agents, removal of blood in order to control iron or erythrocyte levels, and stocking blood banks for later use in research or medical procedures. These various applications ensure that vena puncture is a ubiquitous aspect of healthcare. However, it is sometimes difficult for medical professionals in training to identify patient veins, which can lead to patient anxiety and discomfort during vena puncture. So IR is a solution to help phlebotomists, EMTs, nurses, and physicians in training to visualize patient veins during vena puncture. It is designed to be an instructional tool, so in addition to imaging patient veins, uh, we have built-in components to measure stuff like patient blood pressure, saving patient information, and guiding the medical professional throughout the process through instructional checkpoints and diagrams. The imaging feature utilizes infrared light and infrared light detector. This is based on the principle that the hemoglobin in your veins absorbs IR light much better than the other surrounding vasculature uh, and other tissue. So through the lens of the IR detector, hemoglobin therefore appears much darker. And here's a quick example of the device with and without the light source. The LED circuit is powered by a 9 volt battery, which is turned on and off by this switch. 24 infrared LEDs are arranged in a diamond like structure surrounding the cutout in the PCB for the camera. The modified infrared camera detects the reflected infrared light and displays the image onto the computer screen. Image processing tools are also used to display a grayscale and processed image. We loaded a custom designed CAD file into the Ultimate Maker 3D printer so we clamp the assembly of our components onto this tablet now. The 3D printed housing has tightly specified attachment points for the detector, the 9 volt camera, the switch, and our circuit board. It also has four different attachment points to connect onto the tablet, tablet mount, which can easily be. So let's just show you how this works. The user, a medical professional in training, will first be prompted to enter the patient name. This will be used to create or locate the patient profile, which will say relevant information like vitals in the successful vein image. They will then select the camera session and indicate that they have entered all of this information. Now the user can begin inflating the patient's blood pressure cuff. An LED will indicate when the pressure in the cuff has exceeded 160 millimeters of mercury and the user may stop inflating it. Once this occurs, a second LED will eventually indicate when the pressure has returned to 40 millimeters of mercury. The user will then click the button at the bottom of the screen to indicate that the pressure has returned to this level and the blood pressure information will then appear to the user. If the user is satisfied with this data, they can select that they have checked the patient's blood pressure. They are then prompted to turn on the LEDs associated with the device and to position the patient arm correctly. Now they can begin imaging. Every two seconds, an image is displayed to assist the user in visualizing the patient vein while performing venipuncture. On the top left is the original image. On the top right is the grayscale version. And on the bottom right is a processed image where the user can adjust features such as brightness, contrast, and gamma. Once they are satisfied, they can click the button at the bottom half of the screen and it will save the image to the patient profile. They can additionally enter any notes that they have from the session, which will also save to the patient profile. Once they hit enter, the program will end. So now let's take a look at the patient profiles. We will access LabVIEW's default data directory and select a folder called IR Patient Information. This will show us all of the patient profiles. We will select the correct patient and the correct day and time of the visit. And within this folder, we will see files for blood pressure, the notes from the session, and the successful vein image.